What's up, athletes? Welcome back. Success is the sum of all of the small efforts. It's not about how much we do, but it's about how little we do for how long. Now, today's a perfect example of that. Today, we're going to do a six-minute killer no-stop workout, and we're going to work out today the legs and the shoulders. We're working for 30 seconds, transitioning from one movement to the next without any breaks. Now, instead of thinking that we need to train for an hour, imagine we just add in these five to 12 minute workouts every single day that come out on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays on this channel, and then start to see the progress over time because our health and fitness is like another bank account and it's all about the small deposits. All right, athletes, now let's get started. If you are new here, go ahead and subscribe so that you get these Monday, Wednesday and Friday workouts with me and that we see that progress together over time. All you're gonna need to follow along today is just your mat and then grab yourself a couple of weights of dumbbells. So I'm gonna give you the option to scale down if you need to. Today I'm using a medium weight and then a lighter weight for the different movements. So this is a wild card workout. I'll show you your first exercise. Then you'll check this box above to see what's coming up next. All right, our first movement today is going to be a forward lunge with the left leg and then a front raise. So you're gonna lunge lift up the weights and then come back to the standing position and now as i lunge i push off the heels to come back and stand really wanting to make sure that the heels are planted into the floor we don't want to lift up the heel and then put a lot of strain on that knee all right athletes are you ready working for 30 seconds for six minutes here it is in three two one let's go all right so gently come down to the floor and then come back up i'm using my lighter weight and now 30 seconds doesn't seem like it's a lot, but very soon you're gonna feel just how important it is to use that lighter weight, especially because we're not, we're not stopping. We're just gonna keep going. Push off that forward leg, keep that back straight. And now in just a moment, we're gonna switch the other side and then go into a lateral raise. So same thing here, come back to that standing position pushing off that heel, but this time the weights are coming out to the side. And so now you're starting to feel those arms. Good work. That's it. All right, keep it up. Nicely done. All right, go ahead and now grab your heavier weights and then come down into that squat with me. And then you're gonna do a double press. So squat here, double press. So it's one thruster with one press, really feeling those arms, feeling those shoulders. Good job. That's it. Now get ready for a static squat. You could use a wall if you'd like in a wall sit. And so let's get into that static squat and we're just gonna do a hammer curl here. So that's it, push the knees out. You're gonna really stay nice and stable on that posterior chain. Maybe lifting up the toes, bring your weight a little bit more onto that heel. That's it, you got it. All right, prepare yourself. Forward lunge again. Whew. Three, two, one. Keep that back straight as you switch the weights. Let's go, forward lunge, same thing. Oh man, I'm with you, come on. Don't stop. Feeling for sure the legs <laughs> and the arms. Connect with the body. Good work, and now in a moment, you got it, we're switching to alternating lunge. On the other side now with more of a lateral raise. Good job. That's it. Good work. All right, gonna get into a bear position here in just a moment. So on all fours, but hovering on the knees. Three, two, one. Oh man, that's just halfway here. So just over here, and we're gonna Instead of doing our usual buckle under, just stay in this bare position. And then touch the knee slightly and then just come right back up. Oh man, that's a doozy. All right, stay here with me. 
Gonna switch in a moment, hovering the knees, and then touching the alternating hand to the alternating knee. So just focus here on the abs and stabilizing through the core. Find that balance by maybe focusing on the spot in front of you. That's it, you got it. And grab the heavier weights now in just a moment and going on the back to finish it up. Three, two, one, and break. All right, on our back now, grab your weights and come up into a bridge with a chest press. So up into your bridge, stay here, driving through the heels, coming all the way up here. Good work. That's it. And then you're gonna prepare yourself for a fly in just a moment, a chest fly, keeping the bridge position. You're ready to switch in three, two, one. All right, now stay here with me. Open, bring the weights together. That's it. Oh yeah, feel the quads here with me. Glutes on fire. And now inhale as you open. And exhale as you close. Just checking my timer. All right, good work. A few more reps here, and then we're gonna go into a tricep extension. It's almost like a skull crusher here, so keep the elbows here. Bring your weights all the way back, and then extend. That's it, stay here. Got it. Nearing here, the end of the workout. Where are we at? Good, five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, let's place those weights now on the hips gently and then come up. Final movement here. Just adding a little bit more spice to the glutes in case we haven't felt it already. Bringing it home in 15. Continue to breathe here. Five seconds, three, two, one, and break. Oh man, good work athletes. Six minutes and I am feeling everything everywhere. So good work athletes, remember to repeat one more time if you have it in you today or check out the other workout I've linked for you at the end of this one to complete the training today. Love to hear from you, so comment below. How did this go for you? What was the intensity like for you today? Remember to give me a thumbs up if you liked it and then to subscribe so we see each other next time. All right, let's go. Refuel, rehydrate, and let's meet up in the next one. You got this.